Hi everybody, this is Danny Kim from Canada Tree Online. Uh, today we're going to be putting cooking up some arrows together actually and um, I'm just going to be showing you how I do it uh, so we can just kind of get on with, get on with it. Um, for our purpose today, the shaft that we're using to put together is actually the Carbon Express Nano Pro Extreme, which is the one that I'm actually using for this season. So far it's been doing me pretty good. A um, couple of ingredients before we start. You obviously need the arrow shaft. We're going to need a butane torch. We're going to need some glue for the butane torch, um, along with the lighter. Right? Uh, we're also going to need our points that we'll be using. I used the 120 grain, the breakoff points for, from Carbon Express. And um, we're also going to need veins. For today's purpose, I'm also going to be um, using the excess wings. It's a, these are metallic gold, they're about 50 millimeters. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and without uh, further ado, uh, let's uh, get this started. First thing you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to have your butane torches on, nice and hot. And we're just going to be simmering that heat down just a little bit because we don't want to be burning our carbon. And I actually do have my point right here that we'll be using. A lot of people actually make the mistake of heating up the point a lot. A couple of things that you never want to do while you're doing this gig is actually to, you never want to actually put the, carb, the carbon, the point, or the glue inside the inner blue flame. If you look closely, there's actually going to be an outer blue flame that we're actually going to be using. And while we're at it, we're also going to be heating up the glue. Because at the end of the day, what we want to do is that we want the, we want the um, glue to be melting. So why not heat up the glue instead of just the point? Ooh, and so I just got a little bit too close there, just not paying attention. The glue that I'm using for today's purpose, I'm not using the blue stuff or the orange stuff from boning that, uh, that a lot of archers are familiar with. This one I just got from um, Home Depot. And you just want to melt it up right there and you just want to get a little bit greedy with it because there's no such thing as too much when it comes to this one. Couple of things to note, oops, couple of things to note. If your glue actually starts bubbling, that is too hot, it will actually start cracking your shaft. Just be, so just be a little bit mindful of that. And we're just gonna heat up the glue just one more time before it goes into the shaft. And while it's going into the shaft, you actually just want to just kind of spin it in while you're doing so. And I'm just gonna heat it up one more time before I actually just use this table. Sorry, Peel Archery Club for damaging it. Don't, don't be mad. <laughs> And you're just gonna let that settle. Turn off the torch when you no longer need it. And we're just gonna let this thing settle for a bit. Okay, and now that our point is in, um, I'm just actually just going to be peeling off this glue right here. And you can actually just peel it up with your hand once it cools down and solidifies. And, ta-da! Um, I'm fairly lucky in this sense because Carbon Express actually already, uh, on their higher end uh, arrows, they actually have the lines already drawn up for where your veins are supposed to go. But again, if, uh, if you don't have the lines, just um, you can use a tri-liner made by Biter. And today we're just gonna be continuing with this one here. And excess wings or any veins that you buy should be providing you with the double-sided tape. And we're just gonna be putting them on our arrow shaft right now. And the, and the way that you want to do it is that I'm just going to put it just above the line right here. So that it will resemble something like this. And you're just going to want to do that on all sides going through. Following up with putting the three uh, double-sided tape, I'm just going to peel off the first top orange layer. Just like so and we're leaving the double-sided tape on the shaft. And we're just going to be putting the veins on there. We're just gonna be following where the double-sided tapes are. They don't have to be completely perfect, but there is a point where you want a, a little bit of OCD to kick in just to get it right. And there you have it right there. And once that is done, you're just going to be putting the anchor tape onto these things here. 
The anchor tape I actually cut in half because you actually don't need to use the full length that it comes with. Um, maybe I'm just stingy, I don't know, but I just like to think less is more in this case. And a lot of people that make the mistake when they first put on these anchor tape is that they just kind of put it on too loosely and we're gonna, just gonna go super tight, almost kind of like you're putting the grip tape on your, on your grip on the riser. So once it's in, I'm actually going to be firmly pressing down onto the first point of contact and I'm just gonna be spinning it through and you can actually see, you can actually see the shape of the veins through these tapes. That's how tight you wanna spin it. And that's one spin and you want to actually stretch it to the point where it actually almost stretches the actual access wing tape and that's almost two spins right there and you just kinda of grab onto it and you torque it and bam so that it looks more seamless. If it doesn't look seamless enough, it will come undone eventually, and that's just one thing you don't want while it's flying. It may also cause clearance issues, and that's just not a great way to lose an arrow. And same thing here, just putting it through the back, same way, so that it doesn't mess it up going in. And you just wanna place it firmly, Oop. and that's what I'm talking about. So if you don't actually place it firm, it's just going to be coming down. That one is not a perfect one, but it's a little messy, but it will do. And again, you just want to put some strength to the point where it actually stretches out the anchor tape. And you're just going to put some torque on there and bam. Practice makes perfect. And you have a perfectly fletched set of arrows just after that. Keep in mind to check for your fletchings every now and then if you have a pass through or just once in a, uh, or just once in a while just to make sure you are gonna get the proper clearance and all that fun stuff. Um, I didn't show it in this video, but you can also sprinkle on just a little, you can also sprinkle on just a little bit of baby powder on here so that they don't stick together once they're in your quiver or, or the double sided tapes don't stick together um, to, the other, uh, to the other fletchings on the other arrows uh, once they're in your arrow uh, tube and all that fun stuff. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And if you like today's video, please hit the like button below. You can put up a comment to see what kind of video reviews you would like to see or what kind of tutorials you'd like to see. Hit the subscribe button to see what kind of latest videos come out when and be the first to find out. Again, this is Danny Kim from Canada Archery Online and thanks for watching.